हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नेटर रवि गुप्ता इन टुडे टॉपिक वी गोना टॉक अबाउट हाइब्रिड टाइप टर्बो चार्जर दिस इज द सीरीज इन व्हिच वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ टर्बो चार्जर सो दिस इज द सेकंड वीडियो इन व्हिच वी आर एक्सप्लेनिंग हाइब्रिड टाइप टर्बो चार्जर इन हाइब्रिड टाइप टर्बो चार्जर वी विल सी दैट व्हाई what requirement is basically needed for a hybrid type turbo charger after that we will see that how this hybrid type turbo charger work and after that we will see that how much power it can generate and then we will see the advantage of this hybrid type turbo charger so i hope after watching this video your concept regarding the hybrid type turbo charger will be very much clear so before beginning the video if you want to know about the variable turbine area type turbo charger you can find the link in the description box and you can also read the playlist of the turbo charger development and those who are new to this channel please do subscribe and please do share and please do share in your whatsapp facebook and a social media platform this is the marine engineering hub in which we discuss the marine related topic from basic to the advanced level if you like our work then please hit the like button so let's start the today video of hybrid type turbo charger so first question come to our mind that why we require this hybrid type turbo charger so the answer is that the hybrid type turbo charger was developed by mitsubishi heavy industries and mitsubishi heavy industries have thought that if we can use the prime mover part of a turbo charger as a generator or as a alternator then we can extract power from the turbo charger also so it is a way of waste heat recovery and improving it efficiency this based on these two thing the whole idea of development of turbo charger depend what two thing efficiency and the how effectively we are modify the design to effectively extract more amount of waste heat so what we are what mitsubishi have done that they have changed the design from a conventional turbo charger and they have developed this hybrid type turbo charger so what i written here let's see hybrid turbo charger is developed by mitsubishi heavy industry and it differ from conventional turbo charger in term of both waste recovery and fuel saving so it is more effectively doing the waste recovery and fuel saving exhaust gas energy is recovered to turn the compressor so in conventional type turbo charger what we are doing we are using the exhaust gas energy to recover the scavenger to extract the scavenger required for main engine combustion purpose but here what we are doing exhaust gas energy is recovered to turn compressor which supplies scavenger to the main engine and also generate electricity so what we are doing that basically if we say in a very crude form that what actually we are doing so actually what we are doing is this we are on the compressor side of a turbo charger we are extending the shaft and as we are extending the shaft and on this shaft we are mounting the armature and based on that we are extracting the electricity in a very crude form if we say this is how it work here in this diagram you can see this is a lower block the generator and the turbo charger are connected with the upper half cell still to be attached the upper half cell is not attached only the lower half cell is been attached and when it will be attached it will look like this so what is happening on the compressor side we have extended the shaft and we have placed an armature from where we are extracting a electricity and this arm extended shaft is acting as a prime mover in a very simple way if we say how this work now let's see here 
what is happening it consists of three component what component the first component is a conventional turbocharger what do i mean a conventional turbocharger in one side it will consist of a turbine in one side it will consist of a compressor this is a conventional turbocharger after that along with that is consist of a specially designed compact alternator to run at a very high speed around 9000 rpm and a cooling system for alternator as heat generator will be more due to compact size for given rpm so the main problem the main biggest enemy of this hybrid type turbocharger if the question asks that what are the biggest enemy of this hybrid type turbocharger is the cooling because the idea was prominent very from earlier on but the problem which we are facing was the regarding the cooling but now because of the technological advancement now this can be done effectively and hence the cooling problem is been resolved based on which this hybrid type turbocharger system is now can be seen as effective and is now implemented and its power is been extracted so what is happening consisting of three component one is a conventional turbocharger consisting of turbine and compressor second is a compact alternator and third is the most important cooling system for alternator now the working is similar to the any other generator the only difference here is the prime mover the prime mover is turbocharger itself in diesel generator engine in diesel generator engine we are using a diesel generator to act as a prime mover but here we are using a turbocharger to act as a prime mover with the extended shaft based on which the alternator is been installed okay now the speed of a prime mover govern the voltage and frequency of the generator now now the question is how it is been constructed i have told you now the question come to our mind that here in this turbocharger the speed will vary means in low speed it will have a different speed in high speed it will have a different speed then how we are gonna achieve a proper voltage with a proper frequency means like for example 440 volt of 60 hertz frequency of a constant in nature how we going to achieve if the prime mover speed is going to vary in turbocharger in diesel engine generator we are maintaining a we are maintaining a particular rpm like 720 rpm or 900 rpm and on based on that speed the generation is been done but here in this turbocharger the rpm is varied as per the load so how we are going to do that so what we are doing the speed of prime mover govern the voltage and frequency of the generator very clear means based on the speed of this prime mover the voltage and frequency of the generator will be very very true now a uh, initial dc power is provided so that the required output voltage and frequency can be achieved so what is happening here that how a synchronous generator work based on that same principle this is working the how a synchronous alternator work at 9500 kilowatt means if suppose the system is of 9500 kilowatt main engine the hybrid type turbocharger can generate 7560 kilowatt which is enough to take up the full sea load of a normal size merchant vessel so we can design this hybrid type turbocharger in such a way that when the engine is running at a full ahead and the rpm is now suppose almost in a constant range in that case if the engine power is 9005 kilo 100 kilowatt in that case this hybrid turbocharger can generate a kilowatt of 756 which can sufficient enough for take the full sea load so it means what it means it's very significant is that that this turbocharger alternator can take the full sea load when the engine is running at a full ahead in a sea so we don't need any auxiliary generator very very important thing so we don't need any auxiliary generator okay now what is the advantage the questions asked is what is the advantage with only little increase in the dimension 
enough power can be generated for main engine operation for main engine operation we can generate enough power which can provide for auxiliary purpose fuel saving as heat recovery system is used during the alternator very important the so fuel saving we are doing we are generating the power also so these are the advantage now the generator can function very important please listen carefully the generator can function as a motor at low load operation to drive the blower for maintaining the scavenge air pressure of main engine so when it is at low rpm when the turbocharger is running at the low rpm the power can be provided from the auxiliary generator and this can act as a rotor and this can act as a motor and when this act as a motor it will drive the turbine compressor wheel itself and hence it will provide the necessary amount of air so we don't require any auxiliary blower so the generator can function as a motor at low load operation to drive the blower for maintaining scavenger pressure of the main engine so we don't require any separate auxiliary blower if we have the hybrid type turbocharger system it eliminate the installation of a auxiliary blower for main engine very very important as no extra fuel is used it help in the emission cut down from the ship another very important point so what are the advantages emission cut down no requirement of the auxiliary blower fuel saving and power generation four important point you need to tell in the advantage after that how it work so basically in two or three line if you want to explain you can say an extended shaft of a turbocharger is provided on which the alternator is been set up and based on that the power is been extracted and the alternator is generating so much of power that at the full sea load condition when the engine is running at ahead it can provide a full sea load power so based on this you can say okay so i hope after watching the video the regarding the concept of hybrid turbocharger is very clear if you still got doubt no worry please do provide your doubt in a comment section i will reply back my friend my only aim is to provide knowledge to everyone which i have if you find something more you can please do comment below and please is a request to all of you please do share our video the main aim is only to help so please allow me to help because this type of channel is very rare so i want to spread the help because i am making this with a lot of effort and lot of concern so thank you friend have a good day and thank you for hearing us